eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Kelpie right into that weapon right out the gate. You can see that armor configuration on the front of Kelpie is made to take those big hits. It is a flipper bot. Really hard to build an effective flipper bot at this weight class, but you can see Kelpie already getting two nice pops. Which Stratos is one of these Cybear's egg feeders here. And uh, Kelpie, I saw in the notes, the, uh, the most powerful beetle weight CO2 flipper in the world. Uh, I so am yeah, not surprised. It's, it's got a CO2 canister in there. Runs at 800 PSI. Really impressive for such a small little package to deliver there. And we are seeing Kelpie driver David Small just absolutely pushing around Stratos here in the box. Yeah, you really see the experience of David Small's driving ability. I see what looks uh, to be a fork there on the ground. I'm, I'm assuming that's from Kelpie. Yeah, is Kelpie's right? missing a fork there on its right side. Doesn't seem to be affecting too much, though David is kind of changing his driving strategy, you can see, to make sure that it's only really the left side of that robot that's going towards the weapon if he can avoid it. He's just trying to get himself into a good position for another flip. He's already got about three good flips under his belt. There we Whoa. go. That's a nice flip into the corner from Kelpie. And this is really what the judges are looking for. Are you using your active weapon effectively? Are you using it to disable or otherwise impede the other bot's motion and, and offense? And we've definitely seen that from Kelpie. It's very quiet inside of the box. It looks like Stratus' weapon may be down. I think it might be. David pull off yet another lift here. One of the things when you're choosing your kind of weapon type that you're going to go for, you know, a spinner, you do have so many opportunities to get a hit. Even when you're not intentionally trying to, a situation might occur where you just get a hit on the other bot. With a flipper bot, you really have to be very intentional about where you're getting your hits, how you're going to use that, the CO2, how you're going to use, or how you're going to use the air canister rather, how you're going to use your hits. Um, and we've seen throughout this match David being very strategic about when he's going to use that flipper. Looks like it might be down now, so it's down to David to do show off his driving ability, show off his control abilities, push Stratos around the box, and show that he's really dominating this fight and has been pretty much since the beginning. That aggression and that control is absolutely on display from Kelpie, and this is a driving clinic from this lifter. Yeah. 18 seconds left in this match. David Small, of course, Malice team member, one of the many Davids on that team. 10, 9, so many Davids, 8, 7, no 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the match. Drive to the door. If you can. All right, so this is going to go to the judges, but I think this one's going to be quick. We might even be able to do this one with a show of hands. Ooh, a show of hands. I like this. Kyle, do we get to have hands? Uh, you can do whatever you want. Just know it doesn't count towards the actual outcome of the match. Judges, right. we're going to do this one with a show of hands. I think this might have been simple. So who here thought Kelpie won that fight? Kyle, seven hands. Look at seven that. Seven hands for Kelpie. <laughs> Kelpie wins. They move on in this tournament. Congratulations, David Small. That was excellent driving. Um, see some of his teammates actually out there in the audience watching that fight, cheering him on. Yeah, there we go. Audience getting more and more full as we go through the day. Folks from Norwalk, folks from around the area, come on by. Check it out. Got David Rush there with the, uh, the, Gotta uh, take the, the selfie. Yeah, David it. Rush on the Instagram. Yeah. Uh, all right, so here's the thing. All right, when, when you have a lifter, that is a, like, typically, I don't know, if, if you were a brand new builder, you'd probably want to get something that's really destructive, like an egg beater, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. So you want you want things on a little bit more of an easy mode, right? You want to yeah. you want to be able to get those hits when you, yeah. But with a lifter, I mean, when, when you look at the matchup of a lifter and egg beater, I mean, like, you have to have incredible driving if you have the lifter. Very good I mean, control. You've got to get around to the side of, of an egg beater. You've got to try and lift it. And there's, it's not easy to break an egg beater. No. You've got to push it into the wall. You've got to flip it in the air, have it land on its head, right? Uh, but David was able to pull it out, which is yeah, pretty impressive. He did impressive. a great job. He did a really great job. That's what you want to see when you're driving a flipper bot, especially if that's three-pound division. You want to see just absolute control and domination.
Now I'm curious how many how many uh, you know fires you know David Small has inside of that CO2 canister. I have no idea. It looked like he ran out there, but I'm not sure if that was mechanical or if that it was just he just didn't have any more gas in the tank. Yeah, yeah. But that is something about those flipper bots is you kind of you only have so many so many flips. All right, uh, that was a unanimous judge's decision for Kelpie. All right, on over to <laughs> box I love this one. Name. <laughs> Red Hawk versus Captain Generic. So these are uh, so Red Hawk. We've seen in this competition now. This is their third competition, I believe. Fourth, fourth competition. Uh, we've seen improvement from them every single time they've been here, and I love the paint job on the blade, guys. That looks fantastic. Eight. Seven, Red Hawk is six, ranked 23 five, here at Norwalk Havoc, four, so they've been quite three, successful. Yeah, they really these, have. Uh, these last one, four fight, competitions. Fight. Ooh, an early, out of out of out of the box a little early there, Captain Generic. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's weapons are currently very happy. Captain Generic, uh, I suppose named after its rather generic appearance. There we go, Red Hawk's weapon back up to speed. There we go, Red and Hawk. And now we're seeing Red Hawk do what yes. Red Hawk does best, which that is slowly grinding. but surely grind away at its opponents. Red Big Hawk is... Hits. There we go, that's wow. the tap out. All that right. is a fast 